Hello, hello, Old Twit Talk Cars. A uh, couple of lockdown projects in progress at the moment for the Peugeot 306 Cabriolet uh, 2 litre 16 valve. Um, the first one is I've been having a few knob problems. Uh, I've been trying to get a replacement gear knob for the car because the one that was on it was, was wrecked. Uh, I've got one on it at the moment that's horrible. Was from China looked really good on the pictures and when I got it the print on the top was awful it was off center and it's all scratched off already and I've only done about three miles so that's got to come off then I got this horrible thing which again looked great on eBay but it's absolutely horrible I mean I wouldn't put that on my worst enemy's car so that's going in the drawer, the drawer of shame, the knob. So in the end, what I did was I found an MGF um, gear knob on eBay. I think it was 10 quid with a post. Now that's really, I should have weighed it for you, but that's really a heavy chunk of alloy. That's like a solid alloy chunk of metal. So I quite like that. Um, my plan is, which obviously is likely to go horribly wrong, is I'm going to carefully mask this up so mask all the alloy around the side but leave these little divots open and leave the top open and i'm going to give it a little spray of etch primer just a, a little misting um, and then i'm going to give it a spray of a misting of uh, black uh, and then i'm going to somehow devise a way of uh, masking the the chain shift up so I did think about trying to put blue tack in there. I'm not sure how that will go. Anyway, when that's masked up, leave it with me. I'll tell you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to give it a misting of silver. Just this top bit. And then I'm going to give it a misting of uh, clear lacquer. So then, in theory, what I'm going to have is a nice silvery top. A black change shift these little divots in black and the rest nice and alloy-y as it is at the moment so that's the plan uh, I'll keep you updated on that it can it's obviously going to go horribly wrong but then hopefully that will give you a laugh so be back to you soon so I've keyed up the uh, end of my knob the best that I can um, too much of that can send you blind apparently but anyway I feel alright at the moment so now I'm going to intricately which worries me when I say words like intricate and I'm doing it. Intricately mask this up now ahead of a bit of paint. I've got a scalpel. What could possibly go wrong? There's yesterday's injury. Um, the most cack handed man on earth for sure. Anyway, let's get on with this. Okay, so plan B, they always say in the military you've got to be able to evolve your plans, don't they? So I evolved my plans by going, clearly this is too intricate for me. So I've covered up all the little divots and I'm either going to leave them silver, depending on how it looks, or I'm going to potentially drop some black in there with a very fine brush. But let's see how it goes. So, my appallingly bad... Where's my masking tape gone? Appallingly badly masked up. Gear knob. I'm just a bit nervous about some of these, but 
I probably have every right to be. Um, the other thing which hasn't gone well, which means I'm having to evolve my plans, is I've been waiting for about 10 years, slight exaggeration, but it seems like 10 years, for some etch primer to come through, which I bought on eBay. And it hasn't. And I'm getting fed up and running out of time and patience. Well, not time, but I'm running out of patience. Um, so, and I'm sure the people that know what they're doing out there are screaming at the screen now. I'm going to hit this up with some red primer. Now, what I must be careful to do is not do my normal thing with slapping on too much paint and filling up. The change gear change pattern on there because if you remember I'm going to put some black in there as well so I'm going to keep it hopefully sensible uh, hit it with a bit of primer just to key it have rubbed that off again um, as much as possible I'm going to hit it up with some primer uh, hopefully won't go over the top with that and then hit it up with some black and then try and mask out in some way I've got a cunning way that I'm going to plan to do that but again that will probably end badly I suspect um, and then hit it up with some silver to, to leave the black in the shift pattern anyway got a little bit of red primer there so without further to do just got a bit of a white spirity cloth here just to take any dust off last minute let's hit this bad boy up dry and then the next stage is hitting it up with some black okay nice and dry so here comes the black what could possibly go wrong Don't need a lot. Um, maybe just put, try and get a bit more in that shift pattern. There we go. Okay, the shift pattern filled with black. Yeah, seems to be. So this is going to have to properly cure off overnight before I dare trying to mask that pattern up and putting the silver on okay let's let it do its stuff so it's all about evolving plans isn't it because uh, I tried silver on this I put some black on took some silver polished it back rubbed it well I've been all over the place with it anyway number one son comes in engineer and goes well why don't you just rub it back spray it black and then rub it back because only the high points will get sanded and then you'll leave the black in there so annoyingly that sounded like a sensible solution so that's what i'm going to try now is to rub back the black and see if it leaves black in the shift pattern
Now, of course, the really annoying thing with this is I'm going to have to tell Clever Boy uh, what a great idea this was once he gets back from um, playing with racing cars. So, basically, you'll be glad to hear you were spared the hours of rubbing this back with various um, grits of wet and dry paper. So, I think I started with uh, 400, then I went to 800 then 1200, then 1500, then I slightly blackened up the shift pattern again with a Sharpie, I know, high tech. Um, now, if Clever Boy was here, I would ask him if he thought I should hit this up with some clear coat. Now, I'm going to have to come up with my own answers as he's not here. Um, and I think my answer is yes I will because I don't want any of that black escaping. And if I have to rub it back again and just leave it in the shift pattern, then so be it. So where's my clear coat? Here she is. So I'm going to show you the shaping of this though. Just make the assumption that I've done enough shapes. I'm going to give this a coat of this or two and see where we end up. Okay, so hopefully the final update on the gear knob is I clear coated it, let it dry, um, started to put it on the car and mess about with it and you know it's quite a shove to get it on the car and the clear coat was starting to come off here so in the end I rubbed it back, so I rubbed the clear coat back so it's left the clear coat in the black so hopefully that will stay in there. It's left a nice alloy shiny top so that's bare alloy there bare alloy there it's given it a bit of a polish up um, and i'm hoping sweaty hand on there on a regular basis is going to keep it nice and uh, shiny and polished so i'm finally 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 pretty happy with that I think that all that remains for me to do is to um, wish you a happy evening uh, stay safe um, and get a big hammer and do this. There we go. So anyway, head on over to my blog, uh, talkscars.com, and uh, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.